Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got yo man, we got uh, what went down with Kenneth Petty man. We're gonna talk a little bit about that man. What went down? Um, uh, we, yo Jada Pinkett, J- Jada Pinkett. We got we got to tell you a little bit about Jada. Well, well, well uh, Will Smith's wife. We're gonna tell you about Will Smith's wife. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also got um, uh, Lil Wayne forgetting the words, man. And um, uh, what else? We got, I know we had something else over here. Didn't I have something else over here? I don't remember. Anyway, you let us know your thoughts. On, did I just say that? Oh, my gosh. It's, it's about that time. Listen, listen. We're going to set this one off with the missing teens in Ohio, man. You know what I'm saying? D.L. Hughley um, uh, posted an all call for these children that done went missing. All right? Here's what's strange about life, man. Remember that girl, Carly Russell, that lied about being kidnapped on the highway uh, and how that joint made national headlines? Now we have now we've had dozens of black kids that have disappeared in Ohio in one month, in one month. And (laughs) unusually, it hasn't made any headlines. You see the faces here. Hopefully, we got the video, the video um, playing where you can see the faces of the kids. You see the phone number where you can call. You, you see the names. Look, this vid needs to be shared out, man, because it needs to make national headlines. You know what I'm saying? What's happening to the? What's happening to these children? That's the question. What's happening to these? See, folks are made to think that these children are just they're, they're, they must be runaways. That's why people say, oh, they must be runaways. But I strongly beg to differ, man. You know what I'm saying? In one month, nah. Are they being kidnapped for body parts, man? You know what I'm saying? Are they currently being held against their will in someone's basement? That's my fear, man. My fear is that someone got these kids as like slaves, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know like these kids, you may not know them. Just So just make it your child that went down the street to go to the store and never returned. You see what I'm saying? Your nephew, your niece, okay? Don't nobody know nothing? Like, will you suddenly care when it's your kids that don't come home from going up the street, man? Look, we got to be loud about it now before your kid becomes next, okay? Stuff like this got to hit our media outlets like the Carly Russell situation hit. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if you know the whereabouts or, or the area where you last saw any of these children, please call the phone number. Um, if you don't see it on the screen, it's 216-291-5262 if you have any information about this joint, man. Look, what if government officials or, or whole police precincts are behind this? We need to find these kids, man, and what's going down. You see what I'm saying? So let's get this information out so we can save your child or your nephew from being the next one. That it disappears, man. Look, be on the lookout for, man, vans, trucks, whatever, man. Like, kids should not be being taken. And you know what's happening? A lot of these kids, some of them are being trafficked. And I'm afraid some of them are being used for their freaking body parts, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Yo, man, we got we to gotta make some noise about this, all right? Um, uh, all right, listen. Well, we all knew what was going to happen. Uh, we Look, we all knew what was going to happen with Kenneth Petty. You know what I'm saying? When, when the whole Kenneth Petty situation happened. You know what I mean? After the VMAs last week... The man went outside with some of his boys, you know what I'm saying? And someone, one of them, made the horrible decision to go live. We done told you, don't go live, because every time you go live, it'll never go good. But people do not listen, and they go live. Well, guess what? He goes live, and and him and his boys begin to threaten Offset. (laughs) And look. We told you Offset was enjoying himself at a sleepover with Kai Sanat. In fact, DJ Yo-Yo posted an incredible compilation of Offset's weekend with Kai Sanat. Uh, Sauce, do we have the clip um, that DJ Yo-Yo posted of uh, Offset enjoying himself? Offset, where you at? Offset! 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 Fucking money, man. What's up? Yeah! What's up, man? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, look, look, look. If unbothered was a person, that's it right there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, the judge must have been watching Celeb Source or the Shade Room because the judge uh, saw everything that Kenneth Petty did, of course, and sentenced him to four months of house arrest for probation violations since he threatened offset. The joint, um, what does it read? Let me, let me, let me read the joint. Uh, the, the, the document, if it'll come up because 
maybe it's the location that I'm that I'm parked in right now because I've been parking in the same spot doing these stories and and my stuff don't ever want to come up. In fact, I'm trying to drag time out by saying what I'm saying right now just so my okay here it go it popped up. It goes um respectfully presenting petition for action of court uh, okay it says mr petty was recorded on video making threatening remarks towards a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record this recent violation con- uh, conduct raises concerns over mr petty's willingness to comply with the court's orders as such the probation officer believes placement in the location monitoring program will effectively allow for closer monitoring of Mr. Petty's activities, limit his movements, provide a sanction for his non-compliance, and hopefully encourage him to reflect upon and reevaluate his current status in the community. The supervisee and defense counsel consent to modifications and waive a personal appearance before a court, praying that the court will order Kenneth Petty shall participate for a period of up to 120 days in home detention. Didn't I tell you it's like we were in school? Home detention program, which may include electronic monitoring, GPS, alcohol monitoring unit, or automated identification system, and shall observe all rules of such program as directed by the probation officer. Kenneth Petty shall pay the costs of location monitoring to the contract vendor, not to exceed the sum of $12 for each day. The offender shall provide payment and proof of payment as directed by the probation officer. Ain't that crazy, man? <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Look, the ninja done got grounded by the courts. He was grounded. That's essentially being grounded. Uh, now, Nicki Minaj has provided um, a response, okay, with with a vid of um, the, with a vid, which essentially I, I'm not gonna play the vid because it got music playing. But it, essentially, it's her rapping lyrics that essentially says, "I married a G." <laughs> you like, yeah, G for grounded, really, bro? What you trying to get us murked? Can I finish? It goes, she says something like, I married a G. And her response also included lyrics which said, and when I drop a location, all the killers come out. <laughs> uh, uh, but but hip hop is art. Hip hop is art. Oddly enough, um, yeah, she, uh, look, maybe the location dropped and, and the killers came out and they was like, oh, Pet- Petty is with the killer. Uh, you're grounded. And now, you know, there you go. Uh, Jada, uh, Will Smith's wife, cause you know, we gotta make sure we don't say her name. Will Smith's wife. Look, her birthday was Monday that just passed. Okay. September 18th. Okay. Will Smith posted a bunch of beautiful pictures of, uh, uh, his wife and added a post. Okay. The post read, um, it goes, happy birthday, mamita. I've been to 28 of your birthday parties. I don't know if we're um, ever going to top the one that Rakim performed at, but here's to a lifetime of trying. Man, she had the GOAT, the real GOAT, perform at her birthday party. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, Will's his wife, the man's wife, for some strange reason, has recently decided that she would share a video of her and Tupac. I mean, incredible, right? Incredible. Edible. Look, 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 look. You like, damn. Look, could this mean someone else is about to catch some fresh prints across their face? Yeah, possibly. Listen, take a look at what Jada Pinkett. Did I say a name? Let me let me make sure. Let me make sure he ain't here. Take a listen. Take a look at what um Miss uh, Smith posted. Take a look. Not in a million years would I have dreamed that the fresh prince and I would become um very acquainted not in a million years that i imagine three lives three fates would be so intertwined and i never would have imagined that this video would become a tangible memory of the last time Pac and i were simply kids together personally right i think this is kind of painful man you know what i'm saying you know look yeah you know your husband feels some type of way (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About the man, like, listen, y- y- your husband feels some type of way, right? About you idolizing another man. Even if you truly felt that way about dude, there are some things you keep to yourself and God. You see what I'm saying? And if you must get it out to a human, get it out to your therapist, man. To me, right? I believe 
It is wrong to keep a dead person alive when you know it's killing a living person. Are you understanding what I'm saying, man? They're either enjoying the bliss of heaven. Look, the dead person, right? They're either enjoying the bliss of heaven or justly suffering the justice and vengeance of hell. Meanwhile, your husband is right over there on the couch being made to look crazy by your antics. That man literally put his career in his hands and his hands on Chris Rock's face. You know what I'm saying? Look, he put his career on the line defending what he believed to be your honor. And this appears to dishonor him. <laughs> you like, well, maybe he dishonored her in private. So how does that equate to her dishonoring him in public? Listen, man. Dishonoring your partner in public doesn't make you look powerful, strong, or independent or nothing like that. You see what I'm saying? It makes you weaken the image of the protector of your home. Why would you threaten the image of the protector of your home to outsiders? You know what I'm saying? Someone in the back is like, well, maybe she felt hurt. Well, what will you... Look, what do you think the rest of the family is going to be when you expose the gaps in the armor, man? You know what I'm saying? If you weaken or expose the weaknesses of the protector... By showing his insecurities or baiting him in areas where he's weak and exposing that to the public, that's not in the best interest of the family. And in my opinion, women are the special keepers of the interests of the family. And if you believe women are more loyal to their family than men, consider how hopeless it is when they go rogue. You see what I'm saying? If the man is trying is, is, is supposed to be the protector then why are you exposing his weaknesses? His emotional weaknesses, his mental weaknesses. You're supposed to be bigging up the protector so he can continue to do the job of protecting. I don't get it. She's making him look crazy with, with these kind of antics, man. And it, I mean, and it's sad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and finally, oh, let me do my shout outs. Uh, I almost went a video without a shout out. I got to I got to thank our supporters. Listen, we're gonna keep it quick. Um, shout out to Scarecrow once again. Scarecrow said, all these years. I can't believe I got a shout out. You got two, Scarecrow. Okay. Shout out to you. All right. Uh LJ, my man LJ. You know what I'm saying? With the kid with the with the kidney failure situation. He said, yo, man, y'all are the best. Um, use all make my heart feel warm, man. Makes my day every time I hear a shout out. Well, shout out to you once again, bro. He said, um, thanks, Smooth726 and also Celeb Source. Much love to y'all. My health, I asked y'all to pray. He said, my health has come, uh, has come, um, become much better than it was. My kidneys are responding well to the treatment. Shout out to the most high for um, helping this man's um, kidneys respond well to the treatment. I love that, man. Yo, draw nearer to the most high, man. We all pray for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you know, let me just tell you something about praying for somebody when they sick. When you pray for somebody that's sick, there's three responses. You know what I'm saying? Either, um, either you, God will heal you or um, God will not heal you and, and or maybe he'll delay the healing or you'll die. Real talk, like that's just what it is. Sometimes, look, I pray for people they got better. I pray for people they got worse, and I pray for some people and they died. Period. Like that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, please don't pray for me. I'm just saying. It's like God wants us to be a part of the process of a potential healing. You know what I'm saying? So we pray, man. Yeah, I mean, we pray. He told us to pray. It's a command. He commanded us to pray. Uh, I little oh 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 Tommy. Okay, Tommy. Tommy said. You apologize in advance from yesterday's video. Tommy said, why? Because you can't afford it. She, Tommy's talking about uh, the Yo Gotti video that we did yesterday. Tommy said, you apologize in advance. Why? Because you can't afford it. The ingredient to Yo Gotti and Angela's uh, um, relationship is they don't need your negativity. She doesn't need his money. Uh, thank you, Tommy. <laughs> um, and lastly, user. I don't know who user is, but user said, you said some real ish about loneliness and toxicity. I'm now, what time is it? Do I got to go back to work? 
uh, said uh, using and I I said, I'm now 38 and a loner. And when I'm alone, most of the time I'm thinking negative and um, and hurt about life and decisions that I've made. It's good to be around people. But me having mental health issues makes a million different uh, uh, makes a million different thoughts and regrets run through my mind simply because I don't surround myself to talk to anyone anymore. I ask that people pray for me and other mental health people that are antisocial trying to understand their own minds, but be, um, but respect for your input about how loneliness affects the mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think loneliness actually has a physical, like a physical biological effect on the mind. So you got to be around people, man. You remember human beings are social beings. We are not designed to be just by ourselves all the time. So you got to be social. You see what I'm saying? That's what I believe. And I, that doesn't mean you got to be social 100%. Not everybody could be like a teacher surrounded by hundreds of people every day. Sometimes that'd be draining us. You know what I mean? But um, you definitely want to be social. You definitely don't want to trap yourself in a, in a room by yourself. Because honestly, you're my, like, think about it. Think about it. I, well, you probably, I don't know if you heard about it, but they say that um, people that are locked in solitary confinement actually begin to go insane. There's something about humans not being social that can make them like go insane so if you have an opportunity man be around people talk to people and be pleasant with people man you know what i'm saying because when you treat people well you start to feel better when you treat people bad you start to feel worse so make sure you're treating people good when you're around them okay because we don't want to be around jerks um uh and finally listen listen uh what we have over here then i listen Lil Wayne is one of those legendary artists that raps off the dome, and he don't and he don't write down his lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Now he stated that uh, he hears a beat, rhymes off the top of his head, and there is someone available that writes down everything he says. Then he listens to it to learn the song. Ain't that crazy? Then he gets paid for it. Can you imagine getting paid? Look, if I put on a beat and you were able to rhyme words on a beat in the next four minutes, and then you got paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for that. And, and and his wordplay is so entertaining. Thousands of dollars. Four minutes. If he listen, um, some folks are thinking that at the Colorado game, right? Um, the man did the unthinkable and forgot his lyrics. <laughs> Now, some folks are saying, man, that man ain't forgetting nothing. You know what I'm saying? He was editing his own song out of respect for the context. You know what I'm saying? He's at a game. He can't be cussing like an upper storm, um, which I personally do believe is the case. Remember, I'm not saying age can't catch up with the man, but like, how would we know if he forgot his lyrics? The man, it he freestyles every single, when I say freestyle, I mean off the dome. He does songs off the dome. You know what I'm saying? 
How do we know if he forgot to join or if he's just feeling the vibe of the track? And, or, or, and, and if he did forget, it ain't like he don't have the capability to create a whole new track on the fly. You see what I'm saying? He's been doing it for years. At this point, the whole thing is like second nature to him. You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And this just in. I was source self reported, right? That, um, uh, you know, who your sources? Yeah, never mind who my source. Do I ask you who, who your sources are, man? Our sources have reported, right? That uh, uh, technically, I'm, well, I don't want to say technically, but I'm going to just, just throw this out here, all right? It's being stated that, uh, I have it here, hold on. Okay, here it goes. It's being stated that um, No Jumper has posted that uh, uh, Remy Ma and Papoose are no longer together that's what that's what that's what was posted man remy ma and pop papoose are no longer together i'm hoping that 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 information is not quite um i don't know that, that's 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 what they're throwing out there now easy e easy um made a statement okay that's the guy that's been it's being stated that she kind of cheated with right now there's a clip of the battle okay now you know battle rap man is, is you know all gloves off man you know what i'm saying it's like everything and anything goes low blows all that good stuff you know what i'm saying so i don't know if it's the best idea to run with everything that's being stated you know what i'm saying in the battle rap of people just running off of you know what i'm saying based off of like yo man you know what i mean that's part of the raps or whatever that's part of the the rumor and everybody's just running with the rumors and the whole nine yards but um take a listen hopefully this will play Take a listen to, well, let me, I'm not going to even play the clip. I don't even want to play the clip because source, it might not even play. Well, matter of fact, let's try. Let's try. Okay. Take a listen to what, um, e, what's his name? Easy the battle captain? Easy the captain or something like that? Take a listen to what he said uh, when when he was um, doing his battle against Gotti. Take a listen real quick to what he said. That was, uh, that was clip four. Now, it said, he said, this is what he said in clip four. He said, um, you want to know the details, Ninja? Keep this on a DL. If you heard a ninja did something to me over a female, he ain't dead. It's probably cause, and he ain't dead. It's probably cause I still got the female. Making it sound like if anything that he's saying is relatively true, then he would be saying that if somebody did something to me and I and that person's not dead, then that's because I still got the girl. Now, if the rumor would be true, then that would be him basically testifying or not testifying, but saying that he still has the female. The female in question is the one that everybody's looking at. You see what I'm saying? So um, this is a relatively hairy situation. Now, now, here's the other thing. Um, we got another clip here, uh, clip five, five and clip. Yeah. Clip five, clip five. Take a look at clip five real quick, because this doesn't help matters. Take a look at this clip real quick. Amazing, amazing battle. Amazing battle. Now, um, what's peculiar about the clip is I guess when he's standing next to her, she points directly to the camera. Um, what do you think she she was telling him when she pointed to the camera? I I know what I think, but I want to know what you think. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't even want to suggest what I think. So I want to know what you think. Okay, that's that's that. Now, um, just to try to be as fair as possible, right? Um, Tasha Kay's been saying what she's been saying. I don't even want to get into that. But Remy Ma did release a statement. Okay, um, and she released this statement earlier in the year. She denied the rumors that um, Easy and Papoose had a fight. And she said, I apologize to everyone that was disappointed tonight because we couldn't get um, three full rounds from all the opponents. I tried. And can y'all please stop with the easy and pap lies? You know what I'm saying? So that's what she said back then. Um, but now we have easy with his. Not getting to no fight with nobody. One, two, nobody has ever knocked me out ever in life. <laughs> in life, period. In life, period. It ain't there. And I would really appreciate if y'all can stop asking me please i already told y'all what happened so if y'all feel like y'all need any other answers and y'all feel like another person is involved in that person should stand on it he should say something like why am i asking them so you mean why y'all is not asking the other person right 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 i was so i will appreciate to stop asking me or adding me if you don't believe me you don't believe me. so um so this is where this is this is where like the fog of war <laughs> right uh i think it's kenneth cole that said like 
people that don't understand battle rap culture are gonna take everything that they're hearing as like, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what he, Kenneth Kosek, uh, Kenneth, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, essentially, if, cause you know, some people follow the battle rap culture more intensely than others, uh, which would technically mean anyone looking deeply into what is being said on a battle rap stage shouldn't be because it would be akin to listening to wrestlers correct me if i'm wrong please it would be akin to listening to wrestlers talk beef to each other and thinking that they actually have actual beef you see what i'm saying um essentially if kenneth if i'm understanding kenneth co right and what he's saying he's essentially saying don't take none of this at face value i think that's what he's saying but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. People are running with this. And so I don't want to run with it. You know what I mean? So, of course, we're, we're, we heard the battle rap from Easy to Block Captain. And then we heard the interview where he's saying, yo, man, don't fall for the don't fall for the, all this stuff. So I, I just want to make sure I throw it out there. And then Easy said, yo, don't just ask me. Ask the parties involved. He's essentially saying, go ask Papoose himself. Dude, we, we ain't heard nothing from Pat. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, go ask Papoose himself. You can't ask, um, you can ask Remy Ma, but I mean, she's the one in question that is said to be playing the field. You know what I'm saying? On her, on her husband. Um, and really these allegations are insane because like for your spouse, people will murder you for their spouse. It is not only your, 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 um, violating the one that I, you're, you're violating me. You're violating the one that I love. But then on top of that, you're violating me as well. It is a disrespect to the marriage. It is disrespect. If it is true, if it is true, it's a disrespect to the marriage. It is disrespect to the family because they got a family. So technically, it would be if that was true, it would be a disrespect to the family. You know what I'm saying? And people kill for family. People kill for their spouse. So when you violate somebody's spouse, you're essentially destroying the family that they have. That's something to kill for, as far as I understand. That's why people see Red go go ballistic. People will kill for that because it's just crazy violation all the way around. You know what I'm saying? If this is just like wrestling and folks are taking it to the head and, th and they don't understand battle culture, so they're saying, yo, yo, man, this stuff is real and it ain't really real. And now Remy's sitting there having a real full blown argument with her husband over something that's just wrestling, then that would be horrible. And then if Pat was like, I want to go and kill this guy that's destroying my family, and Remy's like, that ain't even really real. That's somebody that I work with. It's it's really convoluted. And I, I think um, you know, I think one thing that would really kill a lot of this, because I think a lot of this started with the statement that Papoose um laid this dude out that was the statement that he laid this dude out and dude said i ain't never been knocked out of my life so he's saying he never been knocked out he never been laid out if papoos come out and say i did not put hands on that man at all and that man said he did not put hands on me pap said he ain't put hands on me and remy said there ain't nobody got hands put on anybody then then whatever said rumor is ain't true because there's no reason why pap would be like, oh, I didn't put hands on a man if he did put hands on a man because the man violated his wife. You know what I'm saying? Because that's technically what it would be. If she cheated, then that means another man violated his wife. You know what I'm saying? And that's really something that people will kill for. So I don't know, man. Um, these people don't owe us any explanation. But unfortunately, this thing is out. It's making Remy look crazy. It's making Pat look crazy and easy to block Captain as far as I'm concerned. It make him look crazy too because... If you're destroying someone's home, then you, man, that you, that's a death, that's a death penalty sin as far as I'm concerned. Anybody that cheats on their spouse, that's death penalty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now you can look at me crazy if you want. That's death penalty. You know what I mean? If you sing in my body, my choice, then you got to rock with me on this. Because look, you kill a if you if you do that, then you know what I'm saying? Don't look don't don't look at me crazy. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. You might disagree. Let me know if you disagree because I want to know why because maybe I'm wrong. And I don't mind if I'm wrong. It doesn't kill me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I just readjust my joint. Just let me know why I'm wrong. Don't just be like, oh, you wrong. You wrong. And I'll be like, why? You be like, I'm out. 
I hate people that do that. You ain't even going to try to tell me why I'm wrong. Oh, you should know. You're stupid. How the hell am I supposed to know? We all grew up with different backgrounds, dummy. My my bad. I ain't. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I take that back. You're not dumb. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, though. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Let us know your thoughts. Now, uh, in addition to that situation with uh, Remy Ma, okay? Um, Remy Ma has finally addressed what's been going on when it comes to uh, what Geechee Gotti has stated, okay? When asked about um, what Geechee Gotti said, she said the following, and hey, yo, take a listen. How you feeling? I'm good. I feel good. <laughs> I was, at the end, I was like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> You don't want me to go and do a little bit back then. Nigga must have thought he was up there talking to smack then. I started out in better rap. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, I've been at oh. 15 years. I don't recall Geechee being one of the cat friends. Mm. You call me a bitch one more time, nigga might not have got his back in. Mm. <laughs> it have been different though. They were like I was cheating. <laughs> I ain't even know. Yo, that was actually fire off the top of the head. I don't know. You that was, that was, that was fire. 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 I ain't gonna think about it. Yeah, um, um. Now we gotta address the elephant in the room. Like Geechee went crazy. And, you know, the whole, can we even talk about the whole easy to pat poops now that he don't talk as much as they talked on the stage? Oh, Geechee? Yes. He started was the blog for the past three, four months. The blog, okay. That's, that's what it sounds like to me. Okay. But he was, I, I don't know if you, uh, how comfortable or uncomfortable you were with him standing there just saying all of this to you. Listen, it's that or Now she said, What's been he um he's saying what's been on the blogs for the last three or four months. And then she goes, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with what he said. Listen, it's battle rap. Close quote. Now, you can believe her, right? Or not believe her. But know that th here's the thing. If she's telling the truth, her trying to convince you could make her feel very uncomfortable regardless of the fact like because i don't really a lot of times i don't listen to what people say i'd be looking at their body language and what they what they really tell you behind you know what i'm saying behind the facial expressions and stuff okay her trying to convince you that can make her feel uncomfortable which technically would make her look like she's lying and if she was lying you know what i'm saying think about why she's choosing to lie everything that's at stake you know what i'm saying all that she spent the last few years building either she's telling the truth or she's trying to cover something that feels relatively precious. You see what I'm saying? Now, Easy to Block Captain did not help with his raps. But she said Easy to Block Captain said what comes with battle rap territory. Um, now, just for the sake of context, on the show Wild and Out, they do the same types of things. They, they, they talk about Nick and the cast and the whole nine yards. But you don't believe the statements they say on Wild and Out. So why would we suddenly believe the statements that we see happening in this battle rap category? You let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. You know what I'm saying? You believe Remy Ma. And if you don't believe her, why? You see what I'm saying? Um, she's got a lot at stake here, man. You know what I mean? Um, do I believe her? She says she ain't did it, and we ain't heard from Pap yet. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I like to, and a married couple is a unit. So she said what she said, now we just need to hear what Pap say. Um, and I heard he dropped it. Well, I don't know. I heard he dropped the song, but I don't know. Anyway, you let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.